You are listening to Basement Chronicles with Lisa Dublin, episode number 12. Make things easy. Hey, you made it! Welcome to my basement! I'm Lisa Dublin, a health and life coach, and I help professional and executive women to live, lead, and speak with confidence. Because you know what? Developing your confidence and deepening your faith in God is the best formula for an amazing life. So, are you ready? Let's go. Hey, podcast listeners, welcome to another episode of Basement Chronicles. And today my topic is make things easy. I know I'm always the person who talks about going hard and putting all the effort into whatever you do. But the one thing that I've discovered lately is that if I can make it easy to go after a goal, I am more likely to have the desire to want to do it. And then secondly, that desire, because it's so easy, then I am more likely to accomplish the goal. So I don't know if you've realized that the last couple of weeks, I've been very regular with the podcast episodes. Right now, I'm no longer recording in the basement, although this is still Basement Chronicles because the thinking behind it is the same. But I have moved to one of the branches of the Edmonton Public Library to record the podcast because it's so much easier. And it is that journey that I want to talk about today to help you to see that if it's easy for you to go after a goal, it's more likely that you will be consistent. So I want you to stop beating up on yourself today, okay? I'm going to give you a good reason not to do that and to look at what your process has been and perhaps to entice you to start to look for ways to make going after your most important goals easier. So here's what happened. I started podcasting in July of 2023, and that was until December. I had recorded up to seven episodes. And I love it. I've fallen in love with podcasting. I've fallen in love with the process of just being with my thoughts and, you know, just thrashing out ideas week after week. But what happened is that it became very difficult to record and edit the podcasts. And even in light of the fact that the numbers for the podcasts were rising, the downloads were, oh my goodness. At this time of recording, we are almost at a thousand downloads, and I am so grateful. Even back then, the numbers were encouraging, but it was still so much of a hassle to get into a system of recording consistently. It was so difficult to do that that I just didn't. So from July to December, there were only seven podcast episodes, and the numbers showed for themselves. So after like Maybe the fourth episode, it began to kind of peter off because people must have realized that I wasn't serious, that I wasn't recording as consistently as you want to be with a podcast that promised to be published every week. And so towards the end of the year, you know, looking forward to 2024 and what I wanted to accomplish, one of those things being podcasting and recognizing, hey, why aren't you consistent, Lisa? It just occurred to me that. At the Edmonton Public Library, where I am right now, the facilities, a sound recording booth that you could book and you could come in and record free of charge. In fact, a couple years ago, when I did my novella, How George Jones Saved Christmas, I came in here to do some recordings of some of the chapters. So that's how I knew about it in the first place. So here's what I did. I called the library. And I booked my first session very early in January. You guys, just that decision to do something different and to try to help myself, just that decision just got me unstuck. And so I'm sitting here. This is how many weeks into the year 2024 and almost every single week, except when I was in St. Lucia, I have been coming here every single week, booking my time and getting in one or two podcast episodes every single week. Do you know what that feeling has done for me of finally getting it right? And that can happen to you, and I'll tell you how in a bit about how we can go through the process of recognizing the things that we can do to make our process for getting to a goal easier. 
it's just the most amazing feeling that the thing that I struggled with, which was recording the podcast, is now easy to do. So that was the first part of making things easy for myself. The second thing that I realized at the end of 2023, when I was reviewing my process for recording the podcast, what is it I didn't like? Why was I not consistent? What was going on? I had the numbers to prove that, you know, it was a good thing for my business, for my brand, and yet still, it was proving so difficult to record. Then I realized it was difficult to also edit the podcast. Do you know how many episodes I've recorded in my basement, my real basement, and I haven't edited because it's just a chore. It's just not my thing. And so I realized I had come upon another barrier to my success. And so I set out to find a podcast editor. And I did. And ever since January, we've been working together. And I removed that barrier. And now my podcasts are produced on time. And they're produced to my much better to my satisfaction. So that is my story of how I made things easy for me to accomplish a goal that was such a desire that I didn't have a process and a system in place to accomplish. So I want to turn the lens on you right now. You know, a lot of people might have started out the year trying to be consistent and by now have started to berate themselves. Oh my goodness, I'm not consistent. Here I go again. I made all these plans. I attended MIGS 2024 and still... I don't have my goals in order. I don't have a process. Perhaps one of the reasons that you are not being consistent is because there are so many barriers in the way to accomplishing the goal that you've set out to do. So you need to basically question what is going on. What don't you like about what you're setting out to do? Are there barriers in the way? And so I thought of a couple barriers that we might be facing right now in the bid to accomplish a goal. Let's say you're trying to exercise and you have made the commitment to wake up early every morning to exercise. But guess what? It is difficult now because you're not a morning person. Is it at all possible that you can just simply switch your exercise time to when it's comfortable for you to do so, perhaps in the evening or perhaps like I used to do, uh, do it at lunchtime? It just might be that the time that you're putting too much pressure on waking up early when you are not an early riser, and that is putting more pressure on you, so it's unpleasant, it's too much you're expecting from yourself, and that might be why you are not getting to the exercise. Make it easy by doing the exercise at a time when it is easy to do so, when you like to do it, my goodness. Let's say, for example... You want to save money, and so you started the new year from not saving anything to saving a whole bunch of money at at once. And so you're putting so much pressure on your paycheck that you end up dipping into the savings once again. I've been there, so I know it. And so make it easy. What if you remove that barrier and perhaps save half of what you're trying to save? And that half that you save might be nominal enough to not be noticed or felt on your paycheck enough for you to go back and to dip into it. See what I mean by making things easy for yourself? We have to be advocates for ourselves. Here's another goal, one that's very familiar to me as well. Let's say your goal is to speak confidently and the barrier is speaking before a crowd. Every time you stand up to speak before a crowd, you probably freeze because you're not accustomed. How you can make things easy in that situation is to start small. I always say that confidence is a muscle. And so you can start speaking perhaps in your mirror, just with yourself when you get a little more confident. Speak perhaps to the one or two members of your family at a time. Put them to sit down and say, hey, I'm trying to get more confident as a speaker. Can you listen to what I say and critique it? And it'll probably give you way more brutal criticism than anybody out there anyway. And when you get accustomed to presenting before one or two people, family members or even friends, then perhaps the next step in building that confidence muscle would be to speak up at a departmental meeting. And then you can move forward perhaps to even going as far as speaking at a general staff meeting 
and then perhaps trying your chops by speaking on camera. It happens in stages. It happens as you get stronger. And so what happens at every single interval is that you're making it easier by building your confidence until you get to be able to just simply speak with confidence no matter the situation or the audience. I think we do ourselves a disservice by going after a goal and then making it doubly difficult to want to accomplish something we haven't done before. And secondly, to do it in such harsh conditions that we don't ever even get to the goal. So I hope this helps you to stop blaming yourself. It might not be that you are not consistent. It might just be that there are too many barriers in the way. And just like I have done, I've removed the barriers to podcasting and now I've taken off. You guys, it is the best feeling in the world to have a system in place. When I tell you I understand fully why I've called my program, my coaching program, How to Get Unstuck, that feeling of having conquered the thing that used to trip you up is amazing. You feel strong. You feel capable. You feel like you can take on the next challenge. And so this little tip today to make things easy for yourself is meant to help you to get to that feeling of being unstuck. So thank you so much for listening to Basement Chronicles today. And I'll see you on the next episode. Bye. Thank you so much for listening today. Now, I know that you prioritize your growth and success. So if you feel stuck in any area of your life, why don't you consider life coaching? My signature program, How to Get Unstuck Total Transformation, has helped so many professional and executive women to free themselves of limiting beliefs and habits, learn to love and prioritize themselves, set firm boundaries and stick to them, be more confident, move up exponentially in their careers, and become the best versions of themselves. How badly do you want to get unstuck? How badly do you want to be the best version of you? If you desire more, take the first step right now. Go to my website, lisamdublin.com slash coaching and book a consultation with me. Let's talk about your coaching needs because the life you want is totally possible.